Hello, We've David. got De Bella Familia. Yes, yes. Sounds just a little authentic Italian to me. Just a little bit. Just How about a touch. Authentic Italian. <laughs> Love it. We're very excited about this, and we're talking about De Bella Familia's Gourmet Biscotti assortment. This particular assortment, one of our very best sellers. That's correct. In terms of the flavors that are included inside. So we want you to know that you're getting coconut almond mocha. Cherry chocolate, mm -mm. delightful. Pistachio cranberry, yum. And apricot almond, one of my favorites. Absolutely. But you know, if we think about biscotti, educate us a bit here. Absolutely. Because biscotti, for some folks, their only experience with it is this hard, crunchy, teeth breaking <laughs> kind of experience that yes. has turned a lot of people off to biscotti. Correct. Because you bake biscotti twice when you cook it. Yes. So, Tell us about this and how it's different. Absolutely. First of all, biscotti means biscuit, biscotte, as we say in Italian. And biscuits were made for travel. So what they do is they bake it in a loaf, they slice it into slices, they pop it back in the oven, and they actually dry it out so that it was able to go over long trips of hundreds of miles on horseback. That's where it came from. Mm. This recipe came to our country 100 years ago. The recipe has never, ever changed, other than us adding things like cranberry pistachio. But the base recipe is the same, never changed. What's different is when we bake ours in the second time, we use less time and a little more of our fat content or butter, then that's what's gonna give it that biscuity outside, but a cookie inside, and that's what makes us different. It's the, for 25 years plus, this is the biscotti they've had in my home. That's how I got excited, and they actually say, we love you to go on air, and I'm proud to do this. This combination, I just wanna say a personal thing, Please. has two of Vivian and I's personal favorites. And they are? Cherry chocolate and the pistachio. Now, I'm sitting here just smelling and grooving on this great Cuisinart coffee we just brewed. So I'm going to grab one of your cherry chocolate. Yes, sir. And do a little donkey donkey. Yep. In, into the coffee. And let it rip. And let it go. Mm. Mm -hmm. The flavor of the biscuit comes first. And then you bite into a nugget of chocolate. You bite into that cherry. And then it just absolutely explodes. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, I, for the most of my growing up and my early adulthood, I never drank coffee. I gave up soda pop about five or six years ago because mm -hmm. of some acid reflux that I deal with. And so I took up coffee, and I usually have maybe one cup a day, but I've learned to savor that one cup. Yes. Because there's still acid in the coffee, so I take medicine for that, and it all averages out. But I'll tell you, when you pair a great cup of coffee yes. with a delightful, delightful cookie like this one, Absolutely. you come away with that experience that you look forward to. Mm -hmm. It's how you treat yourself to something special. Absolutely. I totally agree. Has a one-year shelf life, which is awesome. They all come individually packed. So these are the things you can throw into your work box. You can put out your job, keep some inside the drawer. We're coming to the end of school. These are great gifts. And I want to remind everybody, you're getting 48, David, 48. Just amazing value. You get everything that you see here. You get two boxes of every flavor, correct? That is correct. Yeah, and every biscotti cookie is individually packaged. I do want to pick one up before we show you more and show you this. Did you see how easily that broke apart? That cookie like. This is cookie. And look at how look at nicely ingredients. it comes apart. You can see the whole ingredients inside. This is the true difference. Now, you know how much these cost per piece? Uh, I think we decided 70 cents. Yeah, I think it was like 70 cents Is each. Is that right? Yes, sir. 70 cents each. You know how much you might pay if you went to those gourmet coffee shops where they sell this for, you know, more than 70 cents. So this is a chance for you to pick it up today and enjoy something delightful. So four great flavors, the apricot almond, mm -hmm. the pistachio cranberry, this is the coconut almond mm -hmm. mocha, and the cherry chocolate, yes, which is delightful. So some thoughts for our foodies. One, most people would think about dunking these in coffee or milk, which you can. But think also of tea, chocolate milk, and your sweeter on the lighter wines, like a rosé or a moscato, just fantastic flavor. We take the chocolate cherry, we grind them, we put them as a pie crust when we're doing like uh, cheesecake box mm -hmm. uh, cakes. Fantastic. One of the things I always like to do for you, David, take a look at that. Oh my, look at this. Just for you. Oh, thank you. Just a little bite. So we it's broke like a it up parfait, on the bottom. Yes. Correct. We did a little vanilla pudding, some cream on the top. You can take it if you like well, it. Well, it's sort it of a parfait, but it's a little bit, it's actually more trifle, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of, yep. How, is there a spoon? No, you take this. Oh, I'm so sorry. In. What am I thinking? Clearly not. I'm not thinking at all, am <laughs> take I? The cherry out. 
There you go. I'm using my biscotti as my spoon. Mm-hmm. Okay, Leslie. <laughs> I'm not playing, baby. Mm. So oh, good. Oh, oh, oh. happy so dance, good. happy Yay. dance. Yeah. Thank Come you, on. Debella. Get it, get it, get it. Thank you, Debella. Mille grazie. 1,200 of these are now gone. We're wow. very, very busy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Lots of, oh, and the big chocolate chips in that, chef. So uh -huh. good. Isn't that great? Mmm. Yummy. So the coconut almond, it has just a nice hint of the coconut flavor, and then you get the crunch of the almond, and of course, our, our family uh, biscotti recipe, that's always going to be there. The one that we're seeing on screen, I believe, is our um, apricot almond as well. So whatever flavor, you're getting four different flavors, so you can mix and match the way you like it. Um, I want you to also think outside of the box. These are great for your picnics and your barbecues. I actually serve them with meat and cheese platters because then you have savory and sweet coming together. Feel free to crunch these up and put them on top of your sorbets and your ice cream. Excellent for cakes. And one other thing, if you make it a tiramisu, please try one of our biscottis oh. instead of the lady fingers. Oh, what a good Dip idea. Dip it in the coffee. Oh my gosh, yes. it is the bomb. Yes, and I would imagine this would hold its shape even better than a lady finger because it's going to absorb the coffee but still hold its its, uh, its shape and texture. Absolutely. You can just see. 1,800 of these are wow. now gone, Chef. And Thank you, you get 48 of these 1.1 ounce biscotti uh, cookies. I have a trivia question for you, sir. I love trivia. Now, Chef, have you ever had pork roll? I have. And do you like pork roll? I do. Now, a little bit of pork roll goes a long way because pork roll can be a little salty. Yes. So that's why we cut the pieces very small in my pork roll pretzel pocket. Mm -hmm. But your question has to do with the year pork roll made its debut. Was it 1656, 1756, 1856, or 1956? Uh... I'll go with 1756. You would be close, but off by 100 years. 16? It was 1856. 18. According to Eater.com, real site, uh, pork roll <laughs> was created by John Taylor in 1860, uh, 1856. Sure. Rather, John Taylor was a state senator and well-known businessman, but his greatest achievement in the eyes of the Jersey residents is his delicious pork, pork roll, roll creation. Yes. Taylor pork roll persists as the state's most popular and most prevalent pork roll product. How about that? I want to get one right. You know what? Two wrong in a row. You know what? Don't worry. There'll be more. Love it. Come on. Bring it on. Come on. Hey, we've got something brand new now. We're going to come up here and bring my coffee with me. Because you know it's a long show. So a little coffee, a little extra coffee helps, you know, put a little kick in my step. Um, if you're going to be on your feet for long periods of time in the kitchen, as most of us are, then you're going to need a little extra help. Now, when I was in high school, I worked, as you heard on last Tuesday night's show, David and Jill, that my first job was working as a pharmacy store clerk at a drugstore in North Carolina. I would work for long eight-hour shifts on Saturday, and I'd come